everyone, welcome back to Sydney and Starlet. And if you are new here, welcome! Welcome! Enjoy the videos. Videos! So today, me and Sydney are going to be reading Disney's The Little It Meg. Mermaid, a read aloud storybook. So let's get started. Before we start, can you find Bambi? Bambi! Bambi! Daydreams. Under the sea, merfolk hurried toward King Triton's palace. Everyone wanted a good seat for the concert. Can you say mermaids? Mermaids. Mermaids. Oh my god, this is gnarly. This looks like he has no head. Even though it's probably like his neck is up looking at the palace, it just looks like there's no head. That kind of looks bizarre. All right, moving on. Mermaids. The merfolk watched as Sebastian, the court composer, signaled for the music to begin. Six of King Triton's daughters sing, sang and swirled around the, sta the stage to the sounds of the underwater orchestra. Can you say orchestra? Uh, why? Orchestra. Can you say king? Good. Triton. Wise. Can you say Sebastian? Uh, yes. Sebastian. Tonight, King Triton's youngest daughter, Ariel, would sing her first solo. But when the giant clamshell opened, Ariel was nowhere to be seen. Ariel, bellowed King Triton. Nearby, whoa, I guess there's a rip in here. Well, <laughs> nearby, Ariel had forgotten all about the concert. She and her friend Flounder were swimming around the sunken ship. Ariel loved looking for things from the human world above. It's wonderful, she cried, finding a shiny fork. Can you say fork? Fork. Fork. Can you say fork? Fork. 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 Not fork. It's fork. A fork. You're using the P at the end. Fork. Gog. Fork. We got. Fork. Fork. Gog. Fork. Okay. 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 It's, it's, okay. it's okay, Sydney. It's okay. Did you hear something? Asked Flounder. You're not getting cold fins, are you? Teased Ariel. Then Flounder spotted a large, dark shape swimming right toward them. Shark! He yelled. Can you say shark? Yeah. Shark! The two friends swam as fast as they could, but the sharks could swim faster. So Ariel whisked Flounder through a small hole in an anchor. The angry shark followed them and got stuck. Take that, you big bully! Flounder cheered. Can you say bully? Bully! Bully! Take that, you bully! Ariel brought her new treasure to Scuttle, the seagull. This is a dinglehopper, exclaimed Scuttle, combing his feathers with the fork. Humans use states to straighten their hair. Deep below the sea, which Ursula was gazing into her magic bubble spying on Ariel. Can you say Ursula? Uh, yes. Ursula, can you say Scuttle? Uh, yes. What sound does Scuttle make? What? 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 Suddenly, Ariel remembered the concert. She hurried home to find King Triton waiting for her. He was angry about the ruined concert, but even angrier when he learns of Ariel's trip to the surface. Never go to the surface again, he ordered. Later, the king told Sebastian, Ariel needs supervision, and you are just a crab to do it. Meanwhile, Ariel was daydreaming in her secret grotto. grotto. I don't see how world that make such wonderful things could be so bad she said the prince ariel looked up and saw the shadow of a ship overhead she swam to the surface to get a closer look there she saw a handsome young man the other humans called him prince eric hurricane a coming a sailor shouted can you say hurricane Wookie. a coming go a coming there's a hurricane coming Howling winds tore the ship's sails. Giant waves tossed it into the jagged rocks. Prince Eric was thrown into the ocean. Can you say ocean? Well, say. Ocean. Ariel frantically searched for the prince. Finding him, she needed all her strength to rescue. For the rescue. 
Safe on the shore, Ariel sang to the unconscious prince. At last, he began to awaken. Someday I'll be part of your world, she said, slipping into the sea. Minutes later, the prince's servant, Sir Grimsby, discovered him. A girl rescued me, said the prince groggily. Then she had the most beautiful voice. Then King Triton found out that Ariel had been up to, up to the surface again. He flew into rage. Humans are all the same, King Triton shouted. Savage fish eaters, incapable of any feeling. With a few strokes of his triton, he destroyed all of Ariel's treasure and swam off. Two sinister eels interrupted Ariel's sobbing. We were sent by someone, they hissed, who can make all your dreams come true. The eels brought Ariel to Ursula, the sea witch was willing to help Ariel in exchange for her voice. Can you say voice? Voice. Voice. But, Ursula added, the prince must fall in love with you by sunset on the third day. If not, Ariel would change back into a mermaid and become Ursula's slave forever. The ocean current turned, 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 however you say that, as Ariel's, Ariel's voice was captured inside a magical shell and her tail turned into legs. Can you say legs? Yes. Can you say feet? Freak. Feet. 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 Prince Eric and his dog Max found Ariel on the beach. You seem very familiar to me, said Eric. Have we met? Ariel could only nod. Don't worry, I'll help you, he smiled. Although she looked like the girl who rescued him, Eric didn't think it could be her. She couldn't speak, much less sing. That evening, Ariel appeared for dinner in a pretty gown. To the prince's surprise, Ariel picked up her fork and began combing her hair just as Scuttle had taught her. Can you say fork? Fork. Can you say dingle hopper? Uh, but it was. Surprise. That's a surprise. Surprise. What? Surprise. Under the sea, a worried King Triton had not been able to find Ariel. Leave no shell unturned until she's safe at home, he told his servants. Meanwhile, Ariel and Eric were happily rowing on a lagoon. Just as they were about to kiss, Ursula's eels overturns the boat. Can you say boat? Boat. Boat. Can you say King Triton? Uh, why is... Look at him on his lonely throne. Ursula's plan. Ursula hatched a plan to keep Eric from falling in love with Ariel. She turned herself into a pretty girl named uh, Vanessa, and she, and she wore the shell containing Ariel's voice. That evening, the prince heard something singing. It was the voice of the girl who had saved him. Eric looked out to see Vanessa. He fell under her wicked spell. Can I say spell? Oh, spell. Then Ariel awoke the next morning. She saw Eric with Vanessa. The wedding ship departs at sunset, the prince told Grimsby. Now Ariel had lost her chance at true love and was doomed to be Ursula's slave forever. Can you say forever? Ever. Forever. Aboard the wedding ship, Vanessa cackled, Triton's daughter will be mine. Looking through the porthole, Scuttle saw the mirror reveal that Vanessa was really Ursula. He quickly found Ariel. The prince is marrying the sea witch in disguise, he exclaimed. Can you say Scuttle? Uh, yeah. What sound does Scuttle make? Wah, 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 wah. Find a way to stall that wedding, Sebastian yelled to Scuttle as they took off to rescue Eric. Flounder helped Ariel along, but the sun was starting to set. There wasn't much time left. Scuttle and his friends did their best to interrupt the wedding. Why, you little, Vanessa yelled, trying to defend herself. In all the commotion, the magic shell shattered on the ground just as Ariel reached the ship. Eric spoke to Ariel. You can talk, said the prince. You're the one. It was you all the time. Happy at last, the prince leaned over to kiss Ariel, but, be but seconds before their lips met, the sun set. You're too late, shouted Ursula, turning into her beastly self. Ariel found her legs changed back into mermaid's tail. Can you say tail? Girl. Tail. Can you say Ursula? Uh, yeah. Ursula. Look at, all, look at all that. There's a lot of stuff happening. 
It's not, it's not you I'm after, Ursula told Ariel, whisking her into the sea. I've got much bigger fish to fry. At those words, King Triton appeared. Ursula told him about the deal she had made with Ariel. In return for his daughter's freedom, the king agreed to take Ariel's place as a slave. Can you say slave? Yay. Slave. At last, this is mine, Ursula laughed, placing Triton's crown on her head. Using her n her new powers, Ursula grew into grew, grew to a monstrous size. Now I am the ruler of all the ocean. Can you say ocean? Ocean. Can you say ruler? Why? Ruler. I wouldn't want Ursula to rule the ocean. She seems like a really nasty ruler. But the brave prince steered the ship over the raging waves right toward Ursula. The bow, the bow, the bow of the ship pierced her cold heart. Slowly, Ursula's horrendous body sank beneath the waves. At once, all at once, the ocean was calm and King Triton's power was restored. How, now he realized how much Eric and, A Eric and Ariel loved each other. He changed Ariel's tail back into legs. I love you, Daddy, said Ariel, hugging him. He knew he would miss her terribly. The? Ends. The Oh, sorry, not the ends yet. So I flipped through the, I skipped a page. All the merfolk and sea creatures gathered to watch the happy couple's wedding. Everyone cheered as Eric kissed his new princess. Then they sailed away to live happily ever Okay. After there, that's that's a better that's a better ending. <laughs> Can you find Snow White? No White. Snow White. Can you find Blue? York. Can you find Mickey? Wait, yet. Mickey. The. Yes. The end. All right. You want to pick out your favorite page? Pick out, pick out your favorite page. Do you remember what sound Scuttle makes? What? 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 Oh, that's a very good page. It's where all the dra all the drama is happening. Bye bye. Who's your favorite character? You don't, you don't have, you usually have a favorite character. You don't want to share your favorite character? Uh, yuck. All right, bye-bye.